Welcome to the ultimate guide, your AWS certification roadmap. Whether you're new to the cloud or a seasoned professional, understanding the why, what and how of AWS certifications is crucial. In this journey, we will explore the significance of AWS certification, detailing each level, foundation, associate, professional and speciality. Discover the certifications that align with their goals and gain insights into who should pursue them also, we will be covering how to prepare for these certification exams. But before we begin, if you want to be successful cloud professional, then check out Simply Learn's Cloud Architect Certification course. This course will build your AWS, Microsoft, Azure and Google Cloud Platform expertise from the ground up. You will learn to master the architectural principles and services of the top cloud platforms, designs and deploy highly scalable fault-tolerant applications, and develop skills to transform yourself into an AWS and Azure Cloud professional. So if you are interested in this program, check the link in the description box and pin comments. All right, so let's start with the first topic. So first is why get AWS certification? So AWS certification is a recognized validation of your proficiency and understanding of AWS services. Acquiring AWS certification offer various advantages including distinguishing yourself from other candidates in the highly competitive cloud computing industry, then elevating your earning potential and career prospects. As AWS certified professionals are sought after and typically receive higher salaries than their non-certified counterparts, then granting access to a supportive community comprised of AWS experts, mentors, and peers. This community provides a platform for networking, sharing the best practices and mutual learning, improving your practical skills and confidence in utilizing AWS services. The certification exams are crafted to access your hands-on experience and problem-solving capabilities and establishing a pathway for continuous growth. Given that, AWS offers a range of certification levels and domains from foundational to speciality. Pursuing these certifications enables you to advance your knowledge and career in the field. So this was about why I get AWS certification. Now let's move on to understand about the AWS certifications. So AWS currently provides a total of 13 certifications comprising of seven core certifications and five specialty certificates. The core certifications are categorized into four levels, foundational, associate, professional, and speciality. The progression begins with the foundational level, followed by the opportunity to advance to associate and professional certifications. Now under foundational certifications, there is AWS certified cloud practitioner. Then under associate certifications, there is AWS certified solutions architect, then AWS certified developer, AWS certified sysops administrator, AWS certified data engineer. These comes under associate level. Next is the professional certificate. Now under professional certificate, there is AWS certified solutions architect, then AWS certified DevOps engineer. Then next is specialty certificate. Specialty AWS certifications that are more specialized focus on specific AWS services. These certifications include AWS Certified Machine Learning, AWS Certified Advanced Networking, AWS Certified Data Analytics, AWS Certified Security, AWS Certified Database, AWS Certified SAP on AWS. So these are the specialty certifications. All right, so let's start with the foundational level certification. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner is designed for beginners without prior AWS experience covering fundamental aspects like cloud services, architecture, pricing, and basic security. It requires no prior experience. This certification serves as a strong starting point, offering a solid foundation in AWS concepts. Exam domain include cloud concepts, security, compliance, technology, and billing and pricing. Exam format includes multiple choice questions, duration is 90 minutes, and cost is $100. And here is 100 US dollars. Now coming to the associate level certification. So under associate level, there is AWS Certified Solution Architect. So let's start with this one. The AWS Certified Solution Architect is ideal for individuals pursuing roles such as Cloud Solutions Architect or Cloud Engineer with a focus on architecturing secure and scalable AWS solutions. The certification covers core AWS services and best practices and requires at least one year of hands-on experience of AWS. Earning this in-demand certification unlocks various job opportunities, emphasizing the ability to design secure, high-performing and cost-optimized architectures. So the exam format is multiple choice question again. The duration is 130 minutes. 
and the cost is 150 US dollars. So the next associate certification is AWS Certified Developer. So the AWS Certified Developer certification is designed for developers and software engineers engaged with AWS. Participants gain expertise in developing applications on AWS, integrating services and optimizing application performance. With a prerequisite of at least one year of AWS experience, this certification is essential for mastering crucial skills in cloud development, making it valuable for those focused on building applications on the AWS platform. In this, the exam format is again MCQ and the duration is 130 minutes and the cost is again 150 US dollars. You can also give practice exam in 20 US dollars. Now coming to the next associate certification, which is AWS certified SysOps administrator. So this certification is designed for system administrator, operations professionals and individuals overseeing AWS systems with a recommended minimum of one year of AWS experience. This certification validates expertise in key domains like monitoring, logging and remediation, reliability, deployment, security, networking and cost optimization, affirming proficiency in AWS operational tasks. So of this certification, exam format is like MCQ again, duration is 130 minutes and again 150 US dollars is the cost. Coming to the next one which is AWS Certified Data Engineer. All right. So the AWS Certified Data Engineer certification is designed for data engineers with AWS pipeline experience. Data scientists seeking AWS data expertise and professionals validating their data engineering skills with a recommended of experience of two to three years in data engineering and one to two years in AWS data services, along with the familiarity in scripting and SQL. This certification offers industry recognized validation, increased earning potential and a competitive edge in the job market ensuring a future-proof data engineering career. The certification consists areas such as data ingestion and transformation, data store management, data operations and support, as well as data security and governance. The exam format is again MCQ and the cost is 150 US dollars. So this was about these associate level certifications. Now let's understand about the certifications that come under professional certificate. All right, so professional level certifications Let's first start with AWS Certified Solution Architect. Yes, the AWS Certified Solution Architect is ideal for experienced solutions architect seeking advanced skills in multi-tier applications, high availability, disaster recovery, and addressing organizational complexity with a recommended of two years of AWS experience. This professional level certification demonstrates deep expertise in AWS architecture, covering solution design and continuous improvement and workload migration. For this certification, the format is MCQ and the duration is 180 minutes and the course is 300 US dollars. All right. If you want to give the practice exam, then it's 40 US dollars for this exam. All right. So now let's move on to the next professional certificate, which is AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. So the AWS DevOps Engineer certification is designed for DevOps engineers, system administrators and those emphasizing continuous delivery. With a focus on advanced practices, including automation, security, and optimization, it requires two years of AWS experience and is valuable for emphasizing DevOps culture and practices in an AWS environment. Topics include SDLC automation, configuration management, IAC, resilient cloud solutions, monitoring logging, incident and event response, and security compliance. The exam format is multiple choice questions, duration is 180 minutes, and the cost here is 300 US dollars. So this was about the professional certificates. Now the specialty certifications. So the AWS offers a total of six specialty certifications. It is essential to possess a profound understanding of the selected domain. Since the examination difficulty level of these certification is notably elevated, Expert certifications are designed for domain expert, AWS specialty certifications, focus on networking and data analytics, security, machine learning, or database management. Recommended for individuals with two to five years of hands-on experience in their chosen specialty. These certifications enable a deep dive into AWS domains, showcasing specialized expertise in the field. So these certifications are AWS certified machine learning, AWS certified advanced networking, AWS Certified Data Analytics, AWS Certified Security, AWS Certified Database, AWS Certified SAP on AWS. All right, so these are the specialty level certifications. Now let's understand how to prepare for the exams. So AWS Skill Builder, first of all, we have this. Boost your skills with AWS Skill Builder for hands-on practice to get ready for certification exams. This is one of the best source. All right, 
Now coming to the next one, which is AWS white papers. So read AWS white papers to understand key concepts and reinforce your knowledge for exam preparation. After that, you can also go for online courses. Take online courses designed for AWS certification preparation, providing interactive learning for a thorough understanding. You can also have a look at Simply Learn's Cloud Architect Master's program, which will help you in the preparation. All right. Now talking about some tips. So the first tip is read question twice. Ensure clarity by reading questions twice to grasp the details and answer accurately during the AWS certification exam. Then next is build your practical knowledge. So strengthen your understanding through practical application as hands-on experience is crucial for success in AWS certification. Also, don't spend too much time. Don't spend too much time on each question. Manage your time wisely. Avoid overthinking. If a question seems challenging, move on and return later if needed during the AWS certification exam. All right, now go for AWS practice exams. Opt for practice exams to familiarize yourself with the exam format and access your readiness, helping boost your confidence for the actual certification test. So these are some tips that you can keep in mind. So as we conclude our AWS certification roadmap, we have covered the significance of AWS certifications and delve into the foundation, associate, professional and specialty levels. Detailed information on each certification, including who should pursue them, has been provided. By understanding the why, what and how of AWS certification, you are well prepared to navigate the certification landscape. Best wishes as you embark on this journey, armed with knowledge to achieve success in your AWS certification pursuits. Alright guys, with that we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.